What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. With the Mega Evolution scoop being just a month away, it was highly suggested that I do concept coverage videos on what Mega Pokemon could be introduced in it. So today, we're going to look at two Pokemon you guys are really hyped about possibly getting Megas, Mega Flygon and Mega Milotic. Let's start off with Mega Flygon. Flygon itself may not be a big threat to teams like Garchomp or Tyranitar, but it's actually a pretty good addition to a team, and it's underestimated a lot. It has balanced stats, focusing more on its attack and speed, and in combination with its really good move pool, it can deal a huge blow to others who aren't on their toes. Mega Flygon, on the other hand, should break that balanced stat structure and get a main boost to its offenses, its attack, special attack, and speed. With this added power, it can be used as a much better mixed or even special attacker, and with improved speed, it can deal with its counters a lot better. With Flygon being based off an Antlion, which are insects that look identical to Dragonflies, a lot of Pokemon fans think Flygon should lose its ground typing and become part Bug. But from what Game Freak has followed so far, that doesn't seem possible. After Mega Evolving, Pokemon have always kept their primary type, and their secondary typing is the one to change, like Aggron losing its Rock typing or Gyarados changing its Flying into Dark. So with Flygon being a ground dragon type Pokemon, the only attribute that can change is its dragon type, meaning the best that can be done is turning it into a ground bug type, and I'm sure nobody wants that. But I personally think Flygon doesn't need a typing change. Ground and dragon seems like the perfect typing for it. The most popular abilities for a Mega Flygon are Levitate, Sandstream, and Tinted Lens. Levitate is sometimes Game Freak's way of adding in a flying type to Pokemon that need it but can't have it, like Latios and Latias, who literally fly around the earth all day. So it only makes sense that Mega Flygon maintains that ability unless they decide to turn Mega Flygon into a Pokemon that fights on the ground. It may not be an ability as beneficial as others, but it does give Flygon immunity to a full type as well as other things like certain entry hazards. Sandstream would be beneficial to Flygon in terms of countering other existing weather conditions that may aid the opponent as well as dealing extra damage every turn and breaking focus sashes. Plus, it'd be great to use Flygon as a lead on a sand team with the coverage it has. And Tinted Lens is an ability suggested based off its bug-like appearance, especially in its eyes. But Tinted Lens is actually a really good ability that doubles the power of moves that aren't very effective. And in combination with Flygon's amazing type coverage, it would turn it into a huge threat. Here's a fan design for what a Mega Flygon could look like. The two horn-like features on its head combine and extend outward, and claws form out of its feet. Its wings multiply into more dragonfly-like wings, and its overall body gets a buff. The artists tried to emphasize the dragonfly look on Mega Flygon, but also turned it into a Pokemon that fights on the ground instead of in the air. A weird combination, but it works. This next fan design is actually unique. Its design seems based off the idea of making Mega Flygon a part bug type, but as we know, that doesn't seem likely. Its entire body buffs up and spikes form out of its joints. Its horns split, a diming marking forms in between them, and its tail grows out and extends. It overall gives Flygon a bigger appearance, and I can see Game Freak making a design like this. And this last concept art is my personal favorite. Its horns combine, smaller wing-like designs form on its head, and its body buffs up. It's a very simple transformation, but I don't feel like much can change in a Mega Flygon, just like Blastoise and Venusaur's Mega Evolutions. But I really do hope a Mega Flygon looks something like this. Moving on, next up is Mega Milotic. For those of you who don't know this, Milotic is essentially the counterpart of Gyarados. They are both serpent Pokemon that evolve from a very weak fish, and they have mirror stats of each other, with Gyarados specializing in physical attack and Milotic specializing in special defense. But moving back, Milotic is a very defensive Pokemon, and with its Marvel scale ability activated, it has no easy weak spot. Most fans agree that Milotic should become a Water Fairy type despite Milotic not learning any fairy attacks, but as we've seen in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire trailers, it's possible that Milotic may be open to new moves. The most popular abilities fans have suggested it could have are Multiscale, Magic Guard, and Regenerator. Multiscale, which halves damage taken at full HP, will give Milotic a huge advantage at the start of a battle. Magic Guard, which negates the effect of an indirect attack, can be looked at as a reflection of Mega Gyarados' Mold Breaker ability, which negates the effect of the opponent's ability in battle. With Milotic being very defensive, indirect attacks like Toxic would be a common choice, but with Magic Guard, it would be immune to its effects. Milotic would be the ultimate wall, it would almost be too good for comfort. And Regenerator, which is a pretty uncommon ability, would allow Milotic to regenerate a third of its health each time it switches out. In combination with its high defenses, it would be a very annoying Pokemon to take down. Here's a concept design for a Mega Milotic. The formation on its tail can be found higher up, and wing-like formations grow out of it, and its entire body grows larger. This is a simple transformation for a Mega Milotic, but it does give off the fairy feel when you look at it. 
This next design is actually a design I really like. While some Mega Transformations are simple, others turn out to look a lot different. You can see it in Charizard. Charizard Y is a simple transformation and Charizard X is a more complex transformation. In this design, Milotic's eyebrows grow out into larger locks and its body grows larger with multiple colors forming halfway down. A crest forms on its chest and a diamond marking forms on its forehead. This design really cries out for a water fairy type and it really does look like a design Game Freak would use. And finally, this art has a unique design of what a Mega Milotic could look like. The mosaic design grows upward and its lotus style tail morphs into a more defined black spike claw like tail. A long crest grows on its chest and its eyebrows and antennas combine and bloom up like wings. The horn on its head also grows larger with smaller red spikes forming all the way down to its tail. This art gives off the idea that Milotic would become more intimidating after Mega Evolving instead of having that majestic design and that it would become a water dragon type which actually works out as Milotic always did have that dragon feel to it and it already has access to dragon type moves like Dragon Pulse and Dragon Tail. I really like this unique design and I hope Mega Milotic does turn out like this. But anyways, that's it for this concept coverage video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts on these two Megas and which design you like the most. And also let me know what other Hoenn Megas you hope to see in next month's Mega Scoop. There's going to be a few more concept coverage videos based off your suggestions. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.